Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. It is perfect. Let's go! Let's go! Third! Let's go! Super Kick Party! Yeah, pay the money for that. No one And of course, you gotta get the coffin skin. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Saturday night to one and all. Ha Saturday afternoon to those on the uh, West Coast. As we get started with the AEW. Oh, God, why does this camera have to be a jackass? Sorry, chat. We'll get, uh, you'll get me on the camera here in just one second. Let me just uh, unload, reboot, and then we will uh, refresh the camera and... I, oh, there we go. Hey, I'm here. I love technology some days. <laughs> Good to see everybody here tonight uh, for a very, very interesting episode of AEW Collision tonight. We, uh, we're getting an open challenge by Swerve Strickland, which could be a nothing burger, but could be a huge bombshell tonight. Uh, I got a feeling it might open the show at this point, uh, just because the main event does look like it's going to be for the trios titles, uh, the house of black versus the bang, bang gang with Christian cage as the referee. So nobody's going to win. Why does TSN continually kick me out all the flipping time here? Just as the show's about to start. It's almost like somebody in another room has a remote or something. I'm just saying I'm going to be very happy when we finally get... Uh, finally get AEW on a TV channel we can watch here. Uh, consistently all three times during the week. Hey, Jake, we're good to see you here tonight. But yeah, it's been a fun couple days here. Not only are we watch, got this, but uh, yesterday I got a chance to go watch Top Talent. I will tell you this, watching Donovan Jijak in person, you get to see how comfortable of a wrestler he really is and how good he really is. Okay. We're, we're starting with a little bit of an extra bang here. You want to talk about two kamikaze artists? Let me see on the other side here. Oh, it's down here. Look at this side. The premier athletes. Oh, uh, did you get a chance to check out the package, Jay, quick? Because I actually... It popped up on my alerts just about an hour ago, and uh, I have to admit, I'm not impressed. Basically, it's $10 off if you buy both. Because they're advertising the first one for $50. I'm assuming the second one's going to be 50 as well. But if you get the package deal, it's 90 Like... All right, well, if we end up uh, getting... I, I got a feeling this might be the last two that are on this. On Triller's setup, but... There, there could be a million different ways of going with this here, but I, got a, I still have a very strong feeling at Wembley that they're going to be announcing a TV deal internationally. Like, if you end up getting uh, Max for Hologrammers, really, Shivani? Hologrammers? But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Like, we, we got an open challenge here from Swerve Strickland, like I was mentioning. We got uh, Hikaru Shida's going to be in action. 
We got a Texas bull rope match between Thunderos and Deanna Perrazzo. Yeah, the TV deal in America needs Max. Like, I, I'm not saying they have to compete against uh, WWE, but people don't want to pay $50 for a pay-per-view anymore. Like, I can... I could understand maybe an extra $10 add-on to a, a streaming service. Like we get an extra $20 a month add-on for Sportsnet Plus if we had to for that. I'm fine with that if I have to, but... If you're going to do that, make sure that ROH gets on there too so I can... I want to wait to see Smart Mark Sterling in a body cast, really. Because the fans will be able to deal with... You know what? I think... Jay Quick, to be perfectly honest, I don't think it's going to matter if it has Max or not about the deal. In terms of the fans hating it or liking it, I think that once the deal's settled, everybody's going to basically just breathe a sigh of relief because if that deal's signed, then let's, let's face it. Anybody that complains about, you know, Dynamite not being uh, on the air in a future time here or... Uh, collision by the way congratulations to rampage on that note as uh, they have officially surpassed the number of episodes that uh, wcw thunder had so i, I love the i love the means of eric bischoff being in pain but yeah yay they beat thunder well let's put it this way C shows against C shows, right? Personally, I would say Saturday night would be the bigger bar barometric there. But Saturday, WCW Saturday night basically surpasses Nitro and Thunder. So you really don't want to do that. So. I guess that would be probably your best comparable that you could do right now, right? I really want this to be Bobby Lashley on that open challenge or Mustafa Ali. Both of them, their contracts are up, but I don't know if we're going to get that. Oh, the premier athletes, they got to lose this one. Like, Hologram's not losing for a while. He's that superhero, right? Secretly, it's Ricochet? No. What I think happens, and my honest opinion about who, uh, who gets announced and who comes out new, I want to see... The number one entrant in that casino gauntlet uh, at All In, I want that to be Tommy Billington, who was just, well, Sean Ross Sapp said it was pretty much a done deal that it's, that uh, contract's done between Tommy Billington and AEW. They just don't know whether it's tiered or not. Good to see you tonight, Zodiac. Hope you're doing well. Hope everything is going swimmingly over on the East Coast on a Saturday night here. But, uh, yeah, just going through everything. Darby and Hologram's a good tag team. Well, Darby is a bit of a tag team specialist in a way. I just don't know how Sterling's able to do all these moves with his arm in a sling like that, right? Would love to see Lashley in AEW with Benjamin and Roosh. So, 
Zodiac, we were talking about this earlier. Like, Swerve has that open challenge. I would love to see Lashley cash it in for the mere fact that it's so new that Lashley's contract uh, is done. Oh, Leo Rush. Okay, yeah. Sorry, my bad. You know what you do? Benjamin, Leo Rush. MVP. Shelton Benjamin, that foursome. That actually would work out rather well, if you ask me. Hey, 30th Century Homer. Good to see you back in here again. Plus, they say it's actually a... Uh, it's a post-birthday uh, party. It's a belated birthday party for, for Lashley himself. And a lot of the wrestlers are invited out, so... It would be nice to see it. I honestly don't feel that we're going to get a Lashley debut until Bloodsport. Where MVP has challenged Josh Barnett there for for a Bloodsport match. The next show that they have, I do believe, is October. And when he shows up, you have... You have Lashley show up. You can have Benjamin show up. They could just say they run this place now, right? But yeah, having Leo Rush in there. And yes, no, I, I get the Roosh thing because they got a whole new storyline with him there. Thank you for cleaning that up for me, uh, Zodiac, a bit here. But yeah. No, I get the Fightful Select reports as well, so it... it another interesting name you could have is Mustafa Ali. Honestly, what I'd like to do, and this is where I was getting back to earlier here. There's that Casino Gauntlet uh, match in uh, in Wembley. What I would like to see, number one entrance in the Casino Gauntlet would be Tommy Billington. Just so he can get the pop at home and the fact that he's they can prove that he signed to AEW. Number two, you either bring in Ricochet, you bring in Mustafa Ali. Oh, they're doing the open challenge at the start of the second hour. That makes sense. And uh, you either do Ricochet, you do Mustafa, or you do a returning Adam Cole there. Because I'll be frank, I know that he's a, supposed to be a heel character with the Undisputed Kingdom. I got a feeling Tony Khan's going to do a complete reset there. Oh, Josh, 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 Josh. Josh, a little bit off there. Have Swiss win that gauntlet? I don't even know if he's going to be in the match. I have a very strange feeling, and... We're doing the face-to-face -face next week. Everybody said it was going to be a match, but it's actually a face-to-face -face for people that weren't watching properly. Uh, Claudio and Okada. And it seems to appear that that match is going to be going down at Wembley. We're going to get Okada versus uh, Claudio for the Continental Classic Cup. Which is going to be an absolutely fantastic matchup if we get it. One we should have gotten a long time ago. But in terms of winning it, I'd love to see Claudio be the person to win that. But we got so much time in between when he's going to be able to cash that in too. Maybe a Claudio wins that tile because Okada has done nothing. Jay Quick, I know this is something that a lot of people haven't uh, talked about, but Tony Khan is actually doing old school booking with the championships with the fact that they're never defended. Your mid-card titles are defended. But if you're a heel, you barely come out and defend your title. And yes, that includes Hulk Hogan being a heel. I don't know, I'll just throw the drum roll in there because I thought I needed some kind of sound effect. Oh, look out. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, look at Jack Perry. You're like... He doesn't need to defend the title, right? And, that, and that's the one advantage that Tony Khan does have with all the titles that he has. Uh, I like the EVPs having the gold. They just need to be bigger dicks, though. They're too fun while well, Okada anyway. And they just need to dominate everything to dubious. I could live with that, too. Like, the evil G Like, go for it. Like, Okada just being a dick in... A dick outside the ring, putting in a segment here or there. Just really isn't doing it, in a way. So... Appreciate the random emotes there. Also, they're doing the bull rope match in the first hour here. I think a lot of their momentum was lost to blood and guts. I I can say I could I could believe that in a way. I think it's great that we have that, but Love how the bloodline did it just lasted too Um I don't know if if you can really compare the two in a way to, in in my thinking there's just too much different there's too many family stories there's too many there's too much of a lot I understand Tony Khan likes long-term stories but there just isn't a long-term story there until essentially until Kenny Omega is able to come back and the fact that you have that conquering hero coming back from disaster we're not going to get what you would essentially call a a return to greatness here with with that whole setup you left your house and walked into mine he has returned <laughs> Mr. McGee, thank you once again for the sub. 29 months, always appreciated. Thank you, my friend. How are you? Wait, Twitch has tiers now? What What do you mean? There's always been three tiers of subs, sir. Uh, I'm doing good, by the way. Good to see you here. Uh, good to see everybody here. I'll be honest, I am tired all to hell today because I'm not used to going out to shows. Hell, I'm not used to going out anywhere. To be honest. But uh, going to a top talent show last night with Dinovan Dijak as your main event was a lot of fun. We had Effie there. Uh, Jimmy Lloyd. Or Broski Jimmy, as he's now known in GCW circles. He was there on the card tonight. I really like Thunder Rosa's gear too. Like she, while I will say that up at this point, I really haven't caught up with with Thunder Rosa's gimmick. Like she hasn't really grabbed me when it comes to her gimmick. It really doesn't. Uh, I will say she is trying, and I I do think that this probably should end the feud. Oh, I I can imagine how tired you are, Mick G. I I know you were at the World Series of Slow Pitch. That that is an absolute grueling tournament, if you don't know, folks. Cause that they basically run those tournaments twenty four hours a day, and you really don't know when you're gonna play. And it and it just takes a long time to recover. So now, nine times out of ten, I would complain about wearing the same color gear between the two competitors. But I guarantee you, the fact that they're both wearing white, you know exactly why they're wearing white. And you know that that's because they gonna bleed. I'm surprised the referee doesn't have the gloves on already. Uh, 
They're virgins. I'll, I'll throw that out for you. You tell that to uh, Macklin there, Zodiac. Uh, I don't know if Thunder Rosa has a significant other or not. I, I really don't pry into a lot of this stuff unless they make it obvious. But to get back to your quick question there, uh, Zodiac, about tiers. Yes, there are three different tiers that are available for... Uh, yeah, Macklin would beg the different... You never know. There are different kinds of relationships. But anyway... Uh, there are three different tiers here on Twitch. Uh, essentially different payment levels and you just get extra extra perks for them. Like for me, it's extra emotes that are available for, for tier two and three subscribers. I do try to rotate everything around, but yeah, there are some special ones set aside for the higher tiers. But yeah, um, just a reminder as well, sorry, since we're talking about Twitch tiers and I can get off of this, any sub between now and uh, August 19th will get you eligible for three months of Apple TV for free, which hell, at the pace that AEW is going, they might end up on Apple TV at by the time we're done here, so... But that's whether you gift a sub, whether you uh, sign up for one. There are two variations, and I didn't get a chance to listen uh, be before the match. I was talking to you guys there. The you can either... It's either pinfall or you drag your opponent to all four corners, I believe. Are the two variants to this? The most famous uh, bull rope match that we've ever had was, uh, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of recent memory, might be Eddie Guerrero and uh, JBL at the Great American Bash 2004 when JBL won the championship on a technicality. The each other chase, yeah, and Eddie bled buckets in that match. Well, there's the first belt. There's the first cowbell shot. Oh, they're just doing pinfall or submission. Okay, thank you for your Nigel for your crazy commentary. That allows us to figure out the answers for this. Oh, and Thunder Rosa's bled open. I, I do love the live shows because we don't get the picture in picture here in Canada. It's just the straight feed. Do I prefer dog collar or bull rope? In a way, I've seen too many neck injuries. I'd re I prefer a bull rope match. Dog collar matches, they do have a lot more violence associated with them typically. But the fact that it's jerking your neck throughout the entire match, for me, that just... That, that can get you in a lot more trouble. A bull rope... Well, yes, it will fall off a lot easier. And and the rule is if it falls off, the match is supposed to stop immediately and you put you put it back on, you resume exactly where you were. Oh, we're gonna hear from Statlander tonight, cool. In other words, we're gonna hear from Stokely and uh Statlander's gonna be outside doing her uh I want to see what Sheeta's got to say, though, tonight. Or in her, what she's going to be doing in her match. Because it, it looks like she's going into a mini heel turn right now. But, folks, i got to ask you. What's your favorite stipulation match while we're here? As we're looking at a Texas bull rope match, which is absolutely vicious at times. If you needed to settle a feud, how would you do it? 
Stokely, you might want to run if Willow brings Ishii, yeah. Like, there's one thing that you that a lot of people don't know about Ishii. When he gets to UK, he gets particularly... He gets particularly violent, I would say. You'd say War Games? Okay, so War Games and Blood and Guts kind of thing. Zodiac, TLC... No, wait, with Top Talent, Iron Man. Ah, uh, yes. If it's done properly, I would say Iron Man, to me, if you could tell, you could tell a ton of stories in an Iron Man match. I'm going to trump all you guys right now, personally. And I'm going to, I'm going to tie it for two here, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. I'm going to go with the Casino Gauntlet slash Royal Rumble. And I think it's a little bit cheating when you talk about both of those together, but you can tell so many stories in matches like those. Little mini feuds that get to come out as you're going along. Especially in the Royal Rumble, the thing that you can do for... Uh... Oh, Jesus. Drop kick into the chair. That's always great. Sorry, whenever you say top talent there, I think about the the promotion that I was at last night. I have to... I, I got to bring this up right now because I'm, I'm getting a little excited about this. So fans in the States, they get the opportunity to see top wrestling talents all the time. Like the bigger, bigger names because it's proximity, right? Not only do people live in the area a lot better... But also, you get the opportunity to, they can travel a lot easier inside states. Out here in Canada, it's been, it, it's a lot harder to get people in between getting your visa straight or getting, sorry, getting your passport straight. We don't worry about visas up here for entertainment purposes, but to getting travel straight, to just using the time. But this month in Alberta, this week we got Jack as a main eventer here. Next weekend in Edmonton, we're getting a performance, well, an appearance by Rob Van Dam, which if you actually look at the notes, it's actually a signing before his show. Well, the fact he's going to be here. And then now they announced last night that they're doing the same thing with Perk Angle. Who's going to be here in Edmonton for Top Talent on October 18th. And just a couple weeks ago, we had Kylie Ray up here. We had Effie up here this week. We're getting spoiled up here in Alberta. I, I, I just want to throw that out here right now. I know that I was going to talk about all my experience. Oh, God. Both ladies have, yeah, both ladies have color now. Worst tie, worst matches a tie between Punjabi and Kennel from Hell. Oh God. Gotch pile driver. Let's go. <laughs> uh, folks, did you see the uh, mistake slash non mistake that happened there? Uh, Thunder Rosa's top. Like she has a bra on, but. Her top came off. So Thunder was trying to put her top back up. But at the same time, referee's counting too, and she forgot that she had to kick out for the three. So I, I want to say that's a little bit of a creative direction botch in terms of the gear. Oh God, what do they do? What does she plan on? 
The power of top adjustment drove the kick out. <laughs> oh, yes. The kennel from hell. Well, the kennel from hell is a great concept. Except for the fact you got to get the right dogs for it. That table did not want to break. I feel so bad for Deanna's ribs right now. In the Thunder Driver, Tony. That was rough. That was rough here. Seems like tables don't break properly. When they don't it seemed like they were. S it looked like it was set up properly. It just. It was set up too close. Like there was no real room for Thunder Rosa to really get get any traction on it for uh, Deanna to go through it. Now let this feud be over. We, we can we can hope for some magic, but that's about it, I think. And the fact we're gonna finish it in Texas too. Cause we got one more week here of uh, Texas collisions before this is up. Cause then after that, they head over to game 25 minutes. So we'll give them a bonus there on that. Oh my god, look at this VHS. This is this isn't even VHS. This is beta. Oh my. Realistically, this should be like a 10 second squash if we really look at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, McGee. There's just been something off with Thunder Rosa here. Like, I just haven't been able to get behind her stories, and it's almost like they gave her Deanna because Deanna will give her good matches. But it almost feels like because she's not... Let, let's face it, Thunder Rosa is going to be nowhere near the title here anytime soon. FTR squashed this team? Absolutely. Too much time talk to Bully Ray. <laughs> oh, better yet, when it comes to Bully Ray. <laughs> oh, the Outrunners Hogan cosplayers. Um, this gimmick's just supposed to be your typical 80s muscle man gimmick, so. The Outrunners are the greatest tag team ever. You idiot. Just saying. I'm saying. Yeah, so essentially, yeah. Uh, love everything. You know what? The only thing is they're... As long as they stay a goofy tag team, I don't mind the level of cheese that they bring out. But there is uh, a lot of cheese that has to be involved here. Like fromage to homage here. Everybody who talks to Bully Ray loses. I, I don't want to go that far. Like, let's face it, he does know some stuff, and, and it's like everything that you hear from everybody. Hell, everything you hear from me, it got to be under the same boat as well. Like, you have to, you have to take everything with like a very big pinch of salt, and and form your own opinions. I think that's something we've learned during the Olympics for sure, when it comes to certain people. But as I've been mentioning it through this show, I want to bring this up one more time while we're on a commercial break here. 
Uh, if you're on Triller, you're looking up the and getting upset over the uh, pay-per-view deal that they're giving for All In and All Out. Uh, do so a favor. Go check out the uh, Fight Plus. Uh, Top Town Pro Wrestling here in Edmonton. They've already got, I think, four shows loaded up. They're, they're working on it. They got really... Uh, let's just say they're a little bit behind, but... The quality of the shows that they're putting up there are absolutely top notch. There isn't much for commentary there, but they're a combo of hors d'oeuvres and fromage and ormage. <laughs> but you want to talk about throwbacks? We got another throwback right here. I, I love the pink shirts, by the way. I remember how behind PWG was on high spots. Yeah, like it's sort of the same thing. But the watching the show last night, there there's a few guys there that you might not know that you're gonna know by the end of it. I know uh, Joey Janela was on the card as well. I forgot to mention him as he had a match against Ava Lawless here, who's made a name for herself in the Seattle area quite a bit. This theme I like. The FTR theme? Yeah. So truth be known, I I was doing some... Uh, remember how I told you guys I'm changing over the overlay I'm working on? I still am. It's in the background here. I hope to have it ready for, uh, for the week of All Out. This graphic for, for the Outrunners is actually a very cheap overlay you can buy on uh, most of the shops. The only difference is they add a tree to it. Oh my god. Folks, I, I, did you just hear what Nigel just did? He literally went through the lyrics of I need a hero from the eighties. I need a hero going on through the rest of the night. He's gotta be strong. He's gotta be fast. He's gotta be ready for the fight. Uh, that song. <laughs> oh, God. N Nigel is 100% all over Shivani tonight. I love it. Somebody let Nigel wrestle. He's getting restless. Very well, there's a possibility that Nigel's last match could be with Danielson, right? Cash to the uh, truth and turbo for president. Hell, probably be better than some of the candidates we got. Well, I can mention one, but I really want to try and keep politics out of here as much as I can. Cameraman tried to get the zoom on time, but didn't. Ah, by the way, if any of your favorite creators have merch on TeePublic, they're having a 35% off sale. No, they're better than both? All right, look. I'll, I'll give you that. Hmm. Zodiac, I don't know. Do you know of anybody that's on that TeePublic site that's got the 35% off deal? Would you happen to have a link for one of those places? Uh, I would, I, I think it'd be highly recommended if, it, if we could get a link to get an example of what you're talking about. It'd be great to have that up in the chat, so. I'm gonna make you work if you're gonna, if you're gonna get a plug in here tonight, sir. 
And for the record, I have two shirts from T Public. There you go. The Retro Hangover merch. Go check it out, folks. I got two of them, and I love both of them. I got a baseball tee, and I got a t-shirt, so... Ooh, a nice atomic drop. I thought he was going to go for a spine buster, but... Ordered some yourself today. Cool. FTR, how have you not squashed this team? Eh, you know what? We got two hours to fill. Been told I have too many t-shirts. See, McG, you haven't had too many t-shirts until you actually have uh, the bar for your uh, clothes actually break off the line i had that last year and i ended up throwing out three bag three garbage bags full of shirts took them up to charity so cash is going into full pose mode and this scares me a bit it's why i know for my uh my fourth wall store i don't want to have too many t-shirts i want to have a lot of other stuff because well Frankly, I prefer the coffee cups. I prefer... I, I'd like to get water bottles if the cost was better, but... I see the cost a little little high for my expectation, but... I'll have to see if I can figure things out. That's a good thing about having kids. I just give them to them. Give you a full coin for that. Do you like a good coffee cup? Well... Oh. For me, it's all the 15 ounce coffee cups, so. That, that's the thing for me. Everybody always has the smaller ones. I like the bigger ones. I like big things. What can I say? Uh, my kid is bigger than you. To <laughs> it, it, it's always about the growth, right? You cannot lie. Yeah, true enough. You other brothers can't deny. So, since we're an hour, hour and a half away from it. Yeah, my old, doesn't work for my oldest anymore. Yeah, I can see that. So with this main event that we got coming up here, that's on the screen here. Do you think there's actually a winner? Or does Christian Cage just pull the old... I'm not going to let either one of you win. Neither one of you win, and then all of a sudden, Christopher Daniels comes out. All right, fine. You're going to face both of them at Wembley. Which eventually leads to both the trios and the... Uh, acclaimed run-in? Maybe. I think he might come out after the match. Because they came out on Dynamite right after... Right after FTR, FTR had their thing going on. I think we're going to get this, and then we're going to get the... Uh, then Daniels is like, hand the title to kill switch. I'm literally just trying to find different things on the soundboard to throw out tonight here. But for the record, Jay Quick, Mother Wayne does have the title on uh, the website. The AW website where it lists all the champions, it does list Mother Wayne as part of the trio of champions. So. You saw it? Yeah. Like, it, I, I find it a bit sacrilegious from what happened before, but it's also the face versus heel dynamic, right? You never break the rules for the faces, but you do for the heels. Because they have an ironclad contract about something. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. Aloha, aloha. <laughs> Infamously known as the Aloha Arn by OSW Review. If you haven't seen it, and by the way, if any of you haven't checked out OSW Review on YouTube or any of your local podcasts, provide, I wholeheartedly support you checking those guys out. They did every single pay-per-view in the Hogan era right from the beginning in a very hilarious way. But they call it Aloha Arn because ever since uh, WrestleMania 5, when uh, Arn ended up in that spot for the sunset flip, he literally looked like he was doing the Aloha, the Aloha dance, so... I don't know how many of you are familiar with OSW Review. I would assume a lot of you if you're a wrestling historian or a wrestling fan. And you know they got to be good because they keep getting uh, DMCA'd by, uh, by WWE and keep getting released, so... I have to say, with the hairline that this guy has, he almost looks like superstar Billy Graham if he wasn't so inflated. Why are you humping? Why would you even assume that? With a partner right next to you there. Oh, Jesus. That was a plant on a power slam. All right. Enough fooling around now. You see that uh, DIY is using the shatter machine as a setup move now? As soon as you hit the shatter machine, it's like academic at this point. So we got 15 minutes till the open challenge here. So I don't know if we're going to get a match or not. I think after the open challenge, we get the uh, Sheeta match. Did you see, according to rumor, there's some concern since Fatu didn't show up last night, the injury might be more bad. Good. I hope everybody thinks that. So the, whoa. Well, shut my mouth here. The Bucks are defending their titles. Stop the win. <laughs> Stop the play. Ah, oh, stupid. That's the one I wanted. Stop the play here. The Acclaim are actually getting their title shot. Ah, Nikki, we found him. Oh, yeah. nice loser joke there. Oh, we get Rush and Vance next. Okay, so that'll that'll be a nice ten minute match here. Do they break up, Caster? Okay, so when it comes to Fatu, I want everybody to think he's hurt. I want everybody to think he he's just not showing up because of that. It would be nice to have a tiny bit more kayfabe than we did it do these days if he literally doesn't show up for the next few weeks let people think that he completely injured i hope he's not i hope he's completely faking it but it would be nice for people to think that he actually is that injured 
And basically, if you want to keep Solo credible, you got to leave Fatu at home right now against Reigns. Because Fatu versus Reigns is one of those amazing matchups. But the internet basically... I'm jumping comments here, but I'll come back. But the base, but the internet basically ended kayfabe. Not if you don't let it. There are ways around it to make it sound like, like, hell, if this is completely fake and you're seeing reports that he's not showing up so people think it might be legit. Welcome to kayfabe, folks. It, it's hard to understand when you haven't experienced it. Oh, and for the record, because we're in a commercial break right now on the show, I'm going to throw the ads up right now. Save us having to deal with them later. So trying to get a little better with that as we go here. So uh, does the acclaim break up here? Cast a screw bones, wishful thing. I think this ends up being a nothing match. I do think that absolutely nothing comes of it. I think the Bucks retain through shenanigans and ends up being a three-way still. And both your uh, tag title matches, both your single or both your regular tag and your trios, are both three-way matches for the title. It's been hard enough to distinguish the groups with, between the both. Might as well just make it that much more confusing. But yeah, as we're uh, as we're going along here. But by the way, folks, thank you for being here. Always appreciate having you here. That's a bit overbooking. Well, sometimes Tony Khan gets a little bit in over himself here. This also could be exactly what you're talking, Zodiac. This could this, you could be making the perfect call here that they end up losing to the uh, Bucks. And then one screws the other. Whether. I agree. If they don't want, if they don't do what I want, they are wrong. It's the healthiest way to approach these things. I I honestly feel that. Yeah. I've always been a a person that goes with, all right. Let's uh, let's see everything lean out. Let's see everything. Let's the storyline play out, and then we'll figure out what it looks like later. Yes, I know you're joking. Sorry. The, one, the thing about text, nobody knows when you're kidding and nobody knows when you're serious. Honestly, I would hit MJF with that move after the match. Um, Storyline behind this is after Dynamite last week, Callus came in and attacked, uh, not not attacked, but verbally abused Roosh because uh, Roosh said that he wanted to be part of this group, but yet he had a pin. So Don Callis set up this matchup against Vance and he wants Roosh to not only beat him, but send him to the hospital. So, there's very well could be that point there. Thank you for the emote again, 30th Century. I appreciate it. Oh, now Roosh finally gets his, it, his video. He comes out, no video, no nothing. I 
I remember before uh, Tony Cobb bought out Ring of Honor, how much of a steal this was to get Roosh for for our champion for uh, for AEW here. In the fact that they got uh, Lij back together or Li. Maybe L-I-E, which would have been really funny to have as an acronym. I just thought about that. Los Ingonables de Elite. But we haven't seen Preston Vance on our TVs in how long now? Because, yeah, the story with Vance is uh, Brody Lee actually picked him in specifically to become the part of the Dark Order. Jay Quick really wants a squash, yeah. Since he turned out negative one, yeah. To, to join uh, the group, right? Preston should have never been off TV. He's got the look and he's good. Yeah, like... Like, I, I honestly feel that there's a lot more here. Oh, there you go. Put that fist up in the air, just throw it. At least we're not getting callous on commentary this one. Because I don't know if you put callous and, and Nigel on the same table because they're too busy trying to out evil each other. But yeah, Preston's got Preston's got everything you need to be a champion, but Well, the gaffer got caught. I'll always interested to see the gaffer uh he's basically stuck there and can't move anywhere. Appreciate all the emotes coming in here tonight. Just little bits and pieces there. Always reminds you that you're still hanging around. Always appreciate that. And for the record, folks, if you have it, if you have a subscription to the channel, you have some free emotes uh, from us as well. There are some AEW specific ones that are in there as, as well. Been trying to switch them around as the roster changes, but. This roster's been changing so much, I don't know I'd spend that much money on them. And everybody's cheering for Rouge. That's the weird part. Trying to get to 100... Oh, God. And the roster changes every week with Tony... Ah! I'm not going to say every week. But I will say this year is a big year of change compared to the others. Just because he's a ten oh trying to go for that full Nelson bomb. Yeah, that full Nelson bomb is what he typically uses to finish the match. He's already standing up. You shouldn't really do that. Yeah. Oh, God, that shot hurt.
Now he's going to throw his knees in there. Jesus. That drop kick. All right, so he got the win, but he didn't send him to the hospital. So is he going to grab a chair now, or is he going to take off? Nope, he stopped. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Probably gonna get a DDT on the outside or something. What's he looking for here? Oh, he's he's going to try and hang him. Would have been nice if he got the bull rope first. stupid app I don't know what it is but every hour it seems to reset me back to regular TV or just to my home screen I don't know what's going on with my Roku here and it's just on the TSN app So now we're going to get this uh, Darby Darby and uh, Jack Perry promo set up here, right? See, this is why you don't need Jack Perry necessarily wrestling. If you could throw together promos like this. And it just shows that he's not... Oh. Here we go. It's been a while, folks. I might be a little out of touch, so forgive me here if I'm a little off. We got an hour to go here. All right, here we go. Then I swerve when I drive. Then I swerve when I drive. Then I got to make a Saturday night special because I'm really gotta be alive i gotta show him a little show and we're gonna a little go we're gonna get somebody new and hopefully make somebody glue huh? give it maybe he broke crts hey how are you i'll give you a coin for that one Actually, my headphones are so loud I can hear them from over here, so I guess I don't even need to put them in. But yeah, like... If you go to a typical... fighting game tournament, they're impossible. That was horse. I'm really wondering who they're going to bring out here. Could this be Evil Uno? Could this be Claudio? Could this be the return of John Moxley back to AEW? If it's Lashley, I will lose my mind. As long as it's not Jericho. Uh, Jericho...
Oh, the glue comet. That was horse. <laughs> Thank you, Zodiac. Sorry, I'm a little off today. We need a gear. I love that gear. Um, Hangman, I think it's been currently suspended after he attacked Jared after the show. He's fighting Lethal Wednesday. Yeah, well, he was suspended. Like, he was sent out of the building, so I'm assuming he was suspended for tonight. Make it Ken S Shamrock. Make it Ken Shamrock. Okay. You know what? I don't mind this. Just for the fact this is a match that eventually we'd like to see. And he did get that pin on uh, Roosh on Wednesday there, so. I understand he's being booked as a mid-carder right now, but this is a very good match that's going to be coming here. Chat, this opponent here, give me a rank, 1 out of 10. 1 to 10. Swerve was like, damn. Give it an eight. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a good number for that six. I think 10 would have been like a Lashley or a... A 10 would have been a Lashley and Ali or someone. 30th century home, are you only giving it a two? You got some high standards there, my friend. Nothing wrong with it. Appreciate you having you here, but. But having Ishii in here, I, I think you try to milk him for everything he can. It's like throwing in a cheap example. I got somebody on my uh, 2K roster that we're going to be doing after we're done here tonight. I got somebody who came up to me and literally said, I'm done after this week. You can't even offer me a contract. I don't even want to be here. You're guaranteed she's getting put in a match tonight and using all the stamina up. Which, by the way, don't forget, after we're done here, we'll be hitting up WWE 2K24, my GM mode for the follow-up from SummerSlam. We're buying a big arena. We're buying a big arena. You're not Ricky Stark singer? No. No, no. You use you do send the use up all her stamina. Then whoever picks her up can't use her for four weeks, so he can do the Ricky Stark sing. Plus, it's also the person with the lowest popularity on my roster, so I'm not too worried. would have been Moxley or somebody of that caliber would have been a nine yeah but they're not going to do a swerve Moxley on a on a random collision on a Saturday night without any extra there would have been have to have been some kind of post of Moxley entering the building or something on socials you know Moxley won't do it because he burned his phone he accidentally threw his phone in the fire and he hasn't really got another one. Yeah. 
So what else we got left here for tonight? I know this is going to be fun, but Renee would have been like, nope, you're taking off and you're staying off. Absolutely. Yeah, we only got two more matches after this, and I don't think the Sheeta match is going to be overly long here. We do have the Brian Danielson interview. I could just imagine that. You would have, but, 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 no buts. You're taking the time off and you're staying off. And then as Renee's somewhere for Dynamite, he shows up at GCW. Claudio wants to pay. Oh, wow. He's got Yuta and Danielson to play with. Yeah, like. He's got Yuta next Wednesday. And then who knows what's going to happen in Cardiff. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of craziness in Cardiff. Yes, I know that rhymed. Or the alliteration. Shout out to Zodiac there for the alliteration on that one. Um. But I really don't see a whole lot of stuff happening on those two shows. Especially since he only booked a 4,500 seat venue in both those, for both those nights. Because I think he's doing a Wednesday, Thursday taping for those. Oh, we get a, well, that'll probably be a backstage interview with Statlander, so. But yeah, we're, we got Jim Ross and uh, Brian Danielson. I think that's going to be a one minute just, I know I'm hurt. I got to do everything. Basically, everything he's already said, he's just going to say again. As you see, a lot, a lot going on, but not a lot going on during the uh, the picture in picture here. Once again, I'm going to try and line these up, folks. So for those that are not subscribed, I'm going to throw the ads up right now so we can uh, watch the whole match together properly as we go along here. Just the timing's off a little bit, and I see the ads are coming up, so I'm just going to run them. Trying to be a little more cognizant of that while we're doing our watch-alongs here so you guys aren't missing out. Like, people are missing out when they're not subbed. My philosophy's always been the same, you know. Realistically, if you really want to enjoy the full experience, make sure you uh, hit up the Turbo or subscribe. I honestly recommend Turbo to everybody. I use it. It's great. Not a single commercial do I get played on. And that money goes straight to the, the creators anyway, so... That's an interesting lock here. Little adjusted chin lock there. He's got to have a pretty good... He's got to have a pretty strong grip on that chin if this is going to be effective here. They're about 20 seconds off here between... pictures in pictures here so you should, oh god that's not fair when somebody hits you with a backdrop driver you're supposed to let go it's 
So they're going to be in Norfolk next week, and then they're off to Cardiff. And then after that, they're off to Cardiff. Oh, they're just doing a double show. Okay. And I'm assuming both of those are pre-taped for us. We'll still watch them as, as they come up on the TV, but they'll both be pre-taped shows because I don't think you're going to do a Cardiff show. What is it? 2 a.m. right now? I guarantee you Nigel gets Tony lost there somewhere in town. Or they should do a skit about that somewhere on, during that week. Oh, God. All right, that's going to hurt. Nice job of hooking both legs there on that. Yeah, Ishii actually, is, if you look about it, when you look at the roster, this might actually be one of the best picks. Left hand Lariat, not as strong, but... So, Swerve went for the face plant, but Ishii just said, no, I'm doing one instead. There's a face plan of your own. Two and three quarters. At least she remembered to kick out there. This is, you know, this could be a main event of any, uh, This could be a main event of any collision or dynamite realistically, right? So I'm I'm happy they have it here. Because realistically, after Wembley, I don't think we're going to get Ishii back here again. It's probably going to be heading home. There wasn't a lot of picks that would have been good, but Ishii works. Yeah, like... It's one of those that sort of made sense. I'd really like to know how what the difference is between a short suplex and a brain buster. Because these guys do not bring their their uh, opponents down the way that a brain buster really works. Even Nana's like, why the hell are we doing this tonight? Why? 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 Went for the house call. Oh, God. Ishii, when he throws that German, Nana just drink more coffee. <laughs> Jesus, put the champ inside out there. So for, for people that don't watch a lot of Japanese wrestling, a clothesline is not considered a minor move like it is in North America. Like it is meant to be a finish in, in a match. Swerve was like, why am I doing this? Yeah. Well, that's what you want them to think, right? There's the house call. Oh, and the house call does it. Okay. I thought he might have had to go for the, the stomp from the top. Nana's getting a little bit intense on that dance right now. He's like, you couldn't have gave me an easy guy, right? Ha! 
appetizers. Oh, so now we get Claudio here. He's going to be talking. Yuta won't be easy? No, he won't. That's going to be a hell of a match. Zodiac, I believe that they just made that match in your honor. Continental Classic Combat in Cardiff. That is alliteration. Oh, and the suit game by Claudio is just amazing at the best of time, at the worst of times. The championship ruined. Uh, Could have won Continental Classic Cup. But I wonder what uh, Stokes got to say here. This guy, if if you guys missed it, there's a little uh, interview at the back that uh, happened after the show last show on Wednesday where it was supposed to be Stoke it's Stokely and Chris versus Ishii and Willow And Stokely Ishii will eat you for dinner. Yum, 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 yum. Big Tom. Big Tom, let me talk. Oh, God. You know it's Stokely because he, he got cut off. Le Lexi sitting there like, this is going to be great. This is going to be amazing. I don't know if those eyes could grow any bigger. It's Ooh. Could this be long-term storytelling? Oh, we're going to get a training montage. This is what I can't wait for. The fact that Statlander is going to be putting Stokely through the training. We're going to get, we're going to get a Rocky seat. He's going to be chasing chickens. Stokely going to be chasing chickens. They're going to, they're going to talk to uh, Mark Briscoe and get some chickens around that chicken farmer, that chicken plucker there. 
They're gonna get, they're gonna get some chase and some chickens. They're gonna be running around Philadelphia. They're gonna be getting ready all over. Stokely, you can quit, man. And the fact this is gonna be on zero hours, so everybody everybody's gonna be able to watch it for free. This is gonna be the ultimate comedy match. Like, if if there's a way that Stat and uh, the way these four essentially can make it. I hope Stockley wears dark pants. <laughs> Maybe he can eat some mushrooms and grow taller. Could you imagine Stokely and Ishii? Watch it be Stokely get the cover in the match to win it. Just watch that happen. I will laugh and laugh and laugh. Yeah, Ishii's enjoying his time. Like, if you think about it right now, the trade-off that we're getting here in, uh, I hear when you mushrooms, you think you're taller. Exactly. That's what we've heard. That's, that's the story we're coming up with, right? When you, uh, eat mushrooms. Yeah. I love autocorrect. It's such a great tool. Uh, But think of it this way: we had we've gotten Suzuki, we've gotten Ishii, we've had to give up Takeshita for the summer, and on the women's side, Shirakawa's coming to uh, to AEW. She's already mentioned that she's coming stateside to find out what Mariah thinks of her now that she's dumped Tony Storm, and we had to give up Anna J. I don't know about you guys, but I think we won on both of those for now. For the fact that our wrestlers are going to get better in, uh, well, AEW's wrestlers are going to get better. And New Japan get, New Japan wrestlers get to preach the word of New Japan all across the world and stardom. Because we got uh, fair trade. Jay's good, but needs some cooking. Mina's ready now. Yeah, and honestly, the stuff that Mina and uh, Mariah can do that is PG, they can really go. The stuff that isn't PG... I don't want PG. <laughs> Nigel wants it on PG stuff, yeah. I stand with Nigel. What? One reason I love non-PG stuff. Eh. <laughs> MXM is great, yeah. So we're getting Top Flight versus MXM next week. By the way, Layla Gray get getting a new gimmick as a the flight attendant for Top Flight. It actually seems like it's worked out really well so far. Wonder if Stokely is like Tony, buddy. I've always loved you. Can we can't can we cancel the match? I could see a segment like that as well. So next week we get that with we get that interview with uh, Stokely trying to get the match canceled, 
Then when we're in Cardiff, we'll have that segment on there of... Well, this shouldn't last long if we're getting an already the ring. What we call officially around here is an already in the ring match. My God, Nigel with the music references tonight. Throw out an Oasis reference right there. Well, yeah, well, she's been around for so long that... She's basically one of the people that carried the company through the pandemic. I have to say, that was one of the more awkward... Thought she had more? No, she was the first one to 50. And then she had some time off. You also got to remember, she was one of the fixtures on Dark, too. So that helped boost up the roster quite a bit. She ended up Goldberging it quite a bit there, doing that. Oh, there we go. Right into the Dragon Sleeper, and she's done. Nope. Oh. Do you think they could get MXM could get Dalton in a stable? Absolutely. Except for the fact that Dalton's got such an over the top ego. I don't know if that would. I don't know if that would happen. And yeah, the days are dark. She was on dark almost every week, right? Falcon Air. I don't think you put MXM as the boys. Yeah, I remember they had Dalton had out had the outrunners for a bit. Cheeto once again getting a victory and just looking ultra serious right now. Then WDB was like, yeah, about that dark, it's done. Twenty four years ago. You were signed in two thousand? I wouldn't think maybe it was an ROH con oh. maybe an FCW contract, I don't know. A lot of fists in the air poses. Is this some sort of mini revolution happening in AEW or something? I know that Sheeta's doing a lot of Yakuza stuff, like uh, the Like a Dragon. She's trying, she's trying to bring up a lot of that. But maybe we could get something like a revolution kind of thing. Maybe a nation of domination somewhere. I'm assuming that trademark's all and gone already. I love how Danielson's very common sense in this interview.
Seems like a lot of trademark slaps when Vince got put out. Um, I think it's more timing wise more than anything else. And a lot of gimmicks have been just haven't been used or not they they just didn't make sense to be used, so All right, I, I like this, how he's how he's taking the approach of very calm and very matter-of-fact with Danielson. This is a way that he can get himself over without actually having to be in a lot of matches. Like, being in an ODQ match last week actually was a way to help protect him quite a bit when it comes to uh, being out there because he doesn't have to put up with a lot of stupid stuff in the ring. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't have to focus so much on his body. He can let the action sort of breathe a little bit extra so and then doing interviews like this this is all he needs to get over like i assume in cardiff they're gonna have a face-to-face -face and that'll be it and he could be on commentary for bcc matches that too like he's gonna be out there on wednesday when wheeler takes on swerve right so it makes a lot of sense but as we're getting to our main event as per tradition here just want to uh quickly throw out the schedule for the upcoming week here for us after we're done here with Collision, make sure you stick around. About five-minute break. We'll fire up uh, WWE 2K24. We are uh, just finished our SummerSlam PLE to an amazing job. And uh, now we got to deal with the fallout and start working towards Fastlane, which will be coming up just after All In. Doing the math. Yeah, it'll be the Wednesday after All In. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it'll be the Wednesday after All In. I'm just thinking about that. But then after that, uh, tomorrow night, we're going to be getting into uh, the Alpha of 2XKO. It's a brand new fighting game based on the characters of League of Legends. It is going to be a free-to-play fighting game once it's released. This is an alpha of the game, so we are going to get to practice some of the new stuff that uh, it has there. I have been told it's not for the faint of heart. We are going to lose a lot. And while losing really isn't something that isn't new to me, you know. I just, you know. <laughs> uh, weird. We'll learn. We'll get better. We'll see what it, we'll put it through its paces and we'll see what it feels like. If it's going to be worth something to check out once it comes out to a full release, which I'm sure it will be regardless. Because the graphics are absolutely stunning on it. And then after that, we'll be here on Wednesday with uh, the AEW Dynamite Sidecast once again. As we're getting ready for the next AEW show here. Might have a stream on Tuesday, but I'm leaving that as a TBA right now. So, But as uh, I see the ads coming close, so we'll, ro we'll throw one more here before we uh, get to our main event here. So... For those that are unsubscribed, we are going to have a minute and a half of ads. Sorry. They're going to come up eventually. I'd rather just do it when we're not having a match to deal with. Just trying to... Trying to be a little more cognizant of that, like I said here. Just trying to... Keep things nice and kosher for everybody here. and Let everybody enjoy things that are going on here. I hope everybody's doing well this week. It's been an absolutely crazy week for everybody and I, I would like to uh, be able to like check out some some more indie wrestling coming up too so I'm I'm gonna there's another show coming up in a couple weeks that I'm thinking of, oh, oh she is she is like Really? You say that Dan is the boss, but not the best. You're right, because I am the best. I am a three time world champion. I am the longest reigning AW England world champion in history. I am the ace of this division. Look at TV and Tyler, the man. 
Okay. Okay, Sheeta versus Monet. That figured like that was a match we could save for later, but I'll take it. No way in their right mind thinks that she's going to win, but... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy turtleneck or in the words of J of Taz holy turtleneck Jones here she did does a yeah she does deserve to be at Wembley absolutely I would love to see another casino battle royal I, I would love to see, like, honestly, I'd love to see two casino battle royals at uh, Wembley. One for the men, one for the women. So many people wearing white tonight. I'd assume that this is white versus black kind of thing. They're not wasting any time getting it. Didn't give the team any time in the ring. Of course, you got to talk about Kevin Sullivan when you talk about the House of Black, right? It's nice to see Buddy Matthews back. Although he did have the uh, the tweet of WrestleMania. Hey, TK, can I go help mommy for a bit, please? That would have been awesome just to see, you know, worlds colliding and that wouldn't melt the internet for about a couple days. Yeah, I don't know if we get a winner out of this, to be perfectly honest. We got just under 20 minutes for this to finish because Collision, thankfully, finishes on time. So Tony Khan tweeted that the biggest announcements in AEW are looming. It's a TV deal. We all have to admit, it is the TV deal. I honestly feel that All In at Wembley... To put it in the non, most non-PG way is the night where Tony Khan blows his load. TV deal gets announced. Newcomers get announced, get, uh, announced during the, uh, the Casino Battle Royal. I got a feeling Adam Cole's going to return. And we all know Tony Khan never over-promises. And I can do that. Yeah, I think I think the big thing is they're going to announce the deal with Max. He'll, he'll, he's just going to come out and say thank you for everything you guys have ever done for us. Thanks to you, we now have a five-year deal with uh, with WBD, and we also have a a streaming deal with Max. All details to be coming soon.
And we'll be live for our all out. Yeah. Oh, and yes, for those that are asking. Okay, Mr. Turtleneck, you actually kept your job here. For uh, for all out coming up here on the 25th, at this point, it looks like we're going to have three guests on our lineup here. With uh, Kayla J, Zodiac, and McG are all going to be joining us via the wonderful world of Stream Together on Twitch. I don't know how four of us in four different time, well, four different parts, well, three different parts of the world are going to do this, but it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. In my opinion, I would announce the deal right before the main event. Yeah, like, uh, it's no different than when you have our our truth and the Miz come out to announce the attendance figure right before the main event. Gives people a chance to breathe, gives them a chance to figure things out. I'd almost do it before that though, Jay Quick, because you got to realize an announcement like that might actually take away from the main event. Or when Cena comes out and says, my last time is now. Yeah, like. I would even throw it earlier, to be honest. If I if I had a choice, you are going to need something for a bit of a break before the main. <laughs> He's been bringing up the 80s a lot here tonight, Nigel. Would you start the pay-per-view with No. You start the pay-per-view with a good match because everybody wants a good match. I would almost say you're going to get two breathers through this card and we don't have the full card yet. Uh, two breathers, you got Hook and Jericho and you got these announcements. Try to find a way to space them properly. If you're going to see somebody like, uh, for example, a Tony Storm get beaten down within an inch of her life and left left in a lump in a ring, I would honestly throw one. I would throw that announcement maybe in there. Do you have Tony announce it or bring in Omega via salad? Tony will want to do it. Who would I get to do it? Anybody but. And once, once again, Buddy Matthews resumes his role as being the heater here. Honestly, I think that Casino Battle Royal is going to have so many new people that that's going to be just such a breath of fresh air. So with him saying the announcements are looming large at Aspie Wembley, I would think so. But I do have to admit something, chat. This week, it, it's already been taken down and reported, but we had our first troll come into uh, our YouTube comments. Uh, for those that don't know, I do rebroadcast the, the video of this on our YouTube channel, our wrestling YouTube channel, uh, pretty much after I'm done streaming the same night. Oh, wow, the Dallas Stars fans showed up. With the refuse sucks chance. But we had somebody come in and talk about, oh, you know, there's all these announcements that came down from uh, WBD overestimating themselves. Tony Clown isn't going to get anything. So I just reported it. As soon as it's a faceless account, I report it so it gets deleted right away. So 
So we've gone through half of this match already. Like, it's just breezing right by tonight. He's always going to get a deal just how to make sure Max is. A, I think it was also, you know, you got to make sure what's going on, right? Similar accounts are already turning on Lashley. Yeah, like. You got to admit, all you're going to see a lot of that stuff coming up here over the next few weeks. Where you're going to have Lashley getting, Lashley getting lambasted, Ali getting lambasted. Ricky's already been uh, getting lambasted just because of his wife. No matter the media, somebody will come up. It's not going to be the one billion dollar deal per year that it... Let, let's face it. The goal has to be to be sustainable. It doesn't have to be to compete with WWE. Oh, they just announced an overrun. Great. So many people don't understand that. Absolutely. Like... It's all about viability. It's not about being who, who's number one. If you can get four or five promotions that have great wrestling on them and can pro provide a solid business plan to work on it, you have to give your fans multiple resources to consume your product. I love this crowd. Dallas Stars fans all around. Oh, wow. That was a thunder of a, a shot into the corner there. And here comes Malachi. Oh, never mind. All right, that was a nice knee. Oh, my God. Christian called the tag. Couldn't have called it the black, the black mask, could you? Oh, Jesus. It's always great when you got a Muay Thai technician in there. And he actually gets to do what he wants to do. Don't blame Christian because the room's a little cold, okay? Oh, God. Oh, well, Brody doesn't do a splash every day. Commercial break number two. Oh, Bro Brody's just a freak athlete. Like, Brody's one of those guys that I really do wish would get a shot at the heavyweight title. Well, the problem is there's so many people that are... Like, everything in life, you always wish for it to be a little extra top-heavy, right? Take that whatever way you want. I hate picture-in-picture. Picture. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Gotta love it. While they're in picture in picture, that pic that uh, poster gets shown up. Oh, here we go. We have a little human bowling here. Oh no. I know what's coming here. Uh, Brody, uh... Little bit of a sandwich. Almost wish they would do a brand split like WWE. I think... I... I want a brand split without a brand split. If you know what I mean. I want a soft brand split where... It's not announced that they're on only this show. Like, here, here's the best example. Like, what they're doing with Sheeta right now. She's typically... She's typically a collision person, right? She's been that now. But now she's going to take on Mercedes over on uh, Dynamite on Wednesday. I think you're going to see a lot of changes like that as we move into the... Uh, into the new contract because it, it's amazing stability will create a lot of new things for you when you're not afraid to get fired i i wonder about that too jay quick like there's so many different things to to include that's why this is so difficult because tony khan has a number value for roh as well can he get that that number involved there too I wouldn't mind because then that means I can I can cancel my ROH subscription and get whatever other subscription comes up. It's almost like both both sides want to get cheered, right? Or both sides are getting cheered. Big splash, cannonball. High rabbit punch. Christian's been fair. He's been counting the counting the falls consistently here. Of course, Austin could not get get Brody up right now. That that'd be silly. Because I don't think Kant would say the biggest announcements are on the way of the deal. I think he would. Just to be just to sound positive. Cling clong clunk. Thought it was done in principle. If you done in principle, yes, but it could always it, it could always be changed, right? Like if it's agreed in principle, then some new details get added. It's no different than a marriage agreement. Then you realize the person didn't have the three million dollars they had. And yeah, Ed, that's a very good point. Tony's always got a big announcement come. We've been talking about that. But Tony did mention that he does have something coming. We're, we're all predicting it's going to be at Wembley. Because I, I would think that's where you would announce it. Just because... I want to get married to someone with $3 million. Oh, he calls it the end now. Okay. Makes sense, because his name is really Tommy End, his other wrestling name. Oh, 
Ah, the moment where everybody throws their finishers out. And of course, Buddy's got to be fit, got to be holding his knee again. He's counting quick. Yeah, told you there'd be some shenanigan. Because there's no other big announcements that the fans would want except the media. Just to shut them up more than anything. Here comes our three-way match at Wembley. Yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, this is going to easily be... You sure don't need another game announcement? Eh. God damn it. I don't know what's going on. It randomly sends my program to home. Of course, it's going to fade to black right now. Damn it. I'm going to have to go through the settings on my TV and see what the hell is going on here. Oh, no, they're taking up Buddy Matthews' knee now. Nice choke slam going down. I think the Bucks lose the title of Wednesday or Wembley. Wembley. They lose them again to FTR. Or maybe they don't lose them at all there. All right, both teams are wiped out. Tony Khan's going to have well, we're going to get we're going to get the full Kill shot while, while you're there, you're not a champ. Yeah, exactly. Hi, right, that ends up the broadcast as they fade to black. Like I think everything that happened tonight we, we got a nice surprise there with Ishii and uh, taking on Strickland. We had uh, Hologram and Darby ended up looking like a good team against uh, the Premier Athletes. FTR did FTR things with the Outriders. That Texas Bull Rope match was absolutely brutal. And hopefully it ends the feud now between uh, Deanna Perrazzo and... Uh, Thunder Rosa and just hopefully maybe they could send Thunder Rosa into something else right now anything else at this point we got the Tony t what what's the Tony tweet sorry I'm looking at the same time you are here and yeah I, I, I'd assume we're gonna get the uh This Wednesday, we get a three-way for a spot in the casino gauntlet between O'Reilly, Cassidy, and Strong. And then, yeah, we got Monet versus Sheeta officially. In, oh, we got the one from earlier. Sorry, yeah. So, yeah, they just announced another one. We got Stoke running from Ishii. Yeah, we got lots. Of, like, that announcement of that match for Zero Hour? Well, I'm not the biggest fan of Zero Hour... 
having matches that are like comedy matches rather than serious ones to show what you're going to get on the show. I think this will be a nice change of pace. We also got Claudio uh, mentioning that they're going to do the uh, Continental Classic Cup Collision in Cardiff. I think we got enough season there. It's still a working title. We all know Zodiac's king of alliteration here. So uh, we're going to get that face to face coming up. Combat. Yeah, combat. Collision. Collisional combat. We'll go with that. We, I guess we shouldn't use collision because, you know, yeah, never mind. It's, you know, we're confused enough at the best of times here when it comes to AEW, but all in all, a great show tonight. Like, too many C's? Not enough C's. At least I know my brand is work. Let's just... I'll give you one of those. A little NBA jam coin for you. But yeah, the... Uh, all in all, like, once again, another let's not fuck this up show. And they did that again. Like we're getting consistently now to the point where all these shows are just, we're not screwing up. Like even last week, we didn't get a chance to watch together because, well, frankly, put in the middle of the afternoon because of SummerSlam, but it was a humdinger of a show. It was a great show. And all these shows that they're doing for collision now are being consistently good. We just need to go from good to great. And I got a feeling that once everybody gets the breathe moment, once they finally announce that uh, contract, now we get ready for Meltzer. And I don't even listen to either one of those guys about that. The only time that I listen to Meltzer is when he's on with Ma Mike McGuire on his podcast here. Um, McGuire on wrestling. If you aren't listening to it, it is a fun listen. Uh, for the whole channel there, if you're into uh, into the mainstream mainstream stuff when it comes to wrestling, so. But yeah, that's uh, I I'm I'm not really worried about what they have to think because. In many ways, I got a feeling that a few of those guys know as probably much as we do when it comes to some of this stuff. They do have their ins, but. I think Tony will be relieved when this is all. I think everybody will. The wrestlers will be relieved because well. For lack of a better thing, they don't have to talk about it anymore. They really don't. They don't have to talk about, is your company going to be in in the toilet? It's uh, where are you going to get your next paycheck? Uh, I, I think once everything's solidified, you're going to be able to, you're going to see a flood of deals starting to come down. And I think that, you know, there'll be a little bit more peace there. So is your company on max? Yeah, exactly. Well, Max versus Peacock versus Netflix, right? So that's what's exactly what's going on here.